all your lions betting on the World Cup, then won all of them back in a Morgan Freeman karaoke contest. That's a good one. But you gotta like roll into it. You like you you can't just like give out your whole life story. You, they have to be asking questions, be interested. That's the fun part. Okay. All right. This is a tough panel because I feel like everyone, everyone kind of is based a little bit to some degree. So, um, what can I say to piss all of you off or some of you? Can I ask what based means? Like, I'm sorry. Like I just... based in reality. Based. What's the opposite of based? Woke. <laughs> Woke. Okay. Woke, I mean. I guess. Uh. Yeah. Not like, okay, I, well, okay, here. How about this? Should body count matter? Ooh. Let's start with you. Me? Yep, you. Um, that's a tough one. I, for I've, for, no, like speaking to different guys, like I've met guys who like absolutely care a lot, but I've met guys who don't really care. So I think it's all... <laughs> Like personally, I don't. I wouldn't really want to date a guy that has like this huge body count. But it is normal, like in society. And I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but it is normal for a guy to have a higher body count than the girl does. Can Can we ask what everybody else's like body count is first, and then answer that question? Because I feel like that'd be very helpful. <laughs> She's you know? already shaking her head. Well, I feel like that'd be very helpful for you know. Here, why don't you start? Uh, my body count is three. Yo, and stop. Stop the cap. It's Bro, three. your body count is not three. On God, it's three. It's, it's not three. She it's said three. it before, but she caps exactly. last show. Exactly. I said it last time. There's no way three. it's three. I'm sorry. There's no it's way it's three. three. Your body I count think, is not three. I think that when it comes to women, um, that body count matters. Um, when it comes to men, I don't think it matters. Why does it matter for women and not for men? Because here's the thing. Um, women are women. Like, even ugly guys will want to fuck you. Even hot guys will want to fuck you because, you know, like you got something and a lot of men are going to want it, whether they like you or they don't. For men, it's a lot harder. Like if you see an ugly guy, whether you're an ugly girl or a pretty girl, you're still going to like. Keep going. I just have to whisper something to her. I thought we weren't supposed to do that. I, it's just say perfect. it. It's a name. <laughs> oh. um, when it comes to men. Like, it's way harder for them to just, like, hook up with people. Like, if you have a good-looking man, like, yeah, he can go and sleep with a bunch of people, but no no female is going to sleep with an ugly guy or a fat guy. Um, but when it comes to girls... Oh. M. Oh. Martin super chatted $100. Thank you. You like jokes? Jesus. I've got you, stag. Why did God create women? To get an easy way to move see men from the bed to the toilet. And I can confirm... Brian is a master cat tamer. <laughs> cat tamer. What? <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, huh? Why yo, you uh, Martin, thank you, man. Um, I got something for you here. Hold on. That was good. Um, I see, man. Seaman? I'm confused. I'm confused. Yeah. Does anyone get the joke? I don't know what happened. You I got it. Joke. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, I know like, that. Yes. Yeah, but like, yeah. You don't Where get the, the joke. Nobody. Go. I'm Could confused. we see the comment Wait, what again? Happened? Yeah, Bring what did it, it say? Up. I wasn't even paying attention. Bring it back up. What did... It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah, pull it up. That's yeah, fine. Whatever. Uh, uh, to get an easy way to move from to bed from to the, bed. the toilet. toilet. Think about bed. intercourse. Yeah, but from bed to, to the jack Yeah, but why from oh, bed? From why from bed? bed yeah. There you yeah. go. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, but why am I a master cat tamer? I don't do that. That's you know a spicy what? thing we can talk about. Um, cat tamer? Master tame cats? Uh, I'm talking anyways. about cunnilingus. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> yeah. anyways. We'll talk about that later. But Let's yeah, go back to body it's count. It's more important for women. Like, um, I think like two men, no one wants to be with a girl that lets anybody and everybody fuck her. And when it comes to a guy, it is harder for them to have sex or get hookups. I agree. Honestly, um, in some ways, what I do you agree with? But, um, that it's harder for men. Yeah, I think that it's it's harder for men um, to sleep with women. I think that's definitely true. Mm -hmm. I think I could go out like tonight, and 
have sex if I wanted to. It doesn't mean that he's super hot, but I could. Exactly. Yeah, yeah women can go out and just fuck anybody. It's harder yeah. for men. So I think for men, when they're looking for a partner, that it is important. Um, but when it comes to me, like, I don't care. Um, it's not important. Yeah, I think body count speaks a lot to what you value. And there will be guys who think a high body count is acceptable because they have the same values as you. And then there will be men who don't. I think it's also important to acknowledge the connections made through sex are vastly different for men and women. Women have a far greater emotional connection when doing you know, sex with, with somebody else, whereas men can be far more frivolous and less connected uh, when engaging uh, in sex with another person. Agree. All right. Okay. Um, sex is an energy exchange, um, and there's like, you know, women produce a hormone when they have sex with partners and or when they, they have produce that same hormone when they give birth. So for women, the more people you do have sex with, it just spreads that out a lot. Well, it makes it harder to bond with people. It really does. Yeah. Um, women who do have a higher body count have and I've seen this in people that I know, um, they have a harder time maintaining signif like significant relationships or sig relationships with sin significant others. Good Lord, I can't talk. Um, yeah, it's scientifically proven. I, yeah, Over here, I you guys. Spoke. I don't have you anything guys. to add, I agree. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry, no, he it, we'll have to have you come back. <laughs> I'll get some some college feminists for you next time. <laughs> um, my apologies. Um, it's just kind of the way the uh, cards fell, I guess. Um, Natasha, any thoughts? I was just gonna say, I, I think I also value um, a man who values their own body count as well. Um, I find that to be very respectable, honestly. Agreed. Oh, you can pull that one back up, Carson. I'll get it right now. Yo, Martin, thank you for the 50. Appreciate all your support tonight, man. Brian, Stag told the story of you being a lion tamer, cat tamer. It's a double entendre. Ah, eh bien, merci pour uh, le français. C'est très bien. Um, <laughs> yeah, that just whooshed right over my fucking head. Typical, right? Um, thank you, though, man. Appreciate it. So, uh, okay. Uh, body count. Maybe I, I, if I can frame it. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to frame it in a way to get you all offended. Well, he brought up cats. So um, is it a deal breaker if a guy won't go down on you? Natasha. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> wow. I actually don't. I Hold on. I have to think about that. Um, is it a, a deal breaker? I don't know. I find it odd that, they, that a man might not want to. I, I've never come across someone that didn't feel that. I don't, I've never come across someone that's felt that way, that they didn't want to do that. Actually, that's a lie. That's a dirty lie. I have. I'm so sorry. I actually have. And it was very odd. I'm not going to lie. It was super 